we bought by three. We are meeting after a long time, aren't we? And you will feel uh, report writing. No, my students. After watching this lesson, you will say, hmm, report writing. It's fun. It's a piece of cake. I am a master of it. But all these will be true only if you watch the lesson from the beginning to the end. Alright, challenge accepted. Here we go. And before we start, I have a few questions to ask. I'm going to check whether you have any idea of a report. Question number one. What is the main purpose of writing a report? I know, your mind will go blank. When I ask a question like this out of the blue. So, I will give the answer as well. But, you will have to fill the gaps. Now, read these sentences carefully and fill in the gaps with correct answers. Answer 1. The main purpose of writing a report is to investigate an issue and report back with suggestions and recommendations so that the authorities concerned can take actions. Answer 2. Past tense. Answer 3. Past tense is used in report writing because we are writing about an event that happened in the past. You answered all the questions and maybe got you to think right. Even if you get only a few right answers, it's not a problem. We just did our warming up. Fine, now let's continue. To write a report, you'll be given a scenario and you'll be asked to analyze it, collect data, and then give you suggestions and recommendations for future improvements. But the real challenge is, to meet all these expectations, you'll be getting 150 to 200 words only. How many words? 200 words maximum. Using these 200 words, we should write our report meeting the requirements of the question. Not only that. We have to show our high command of language. Is that all? No. We should display our creativity. Anything else? Why not? We must sustain the interest of the reader or examiner. Do you think you are able to do all this with a limited number of 200 words? Of course you can. If you stay focused, the mission is possible. Guarantee. Now you are going to learn the format of the report. 
They should be minimum four paragraphs. The title should be at the centre. Keep the byline to the top right hand corner. There you have to write your full name to make it formal. The first paragraph, Introduction. You have to address the following. What the event was, where it was, when it happened, who involved and who asked to write the report. Second and third paragraphs. The main body. This can be subdivided into two or three paragraphs with appropriate subheadings. Also, it should be organized to present the information you collected in a way that best helps the reader understand the issue being investigated. Fourth paragraph. Suggestions and recommendations. Mention your suggestions based on the findings. Give your recommendations for field improvements if the event is repeated. Now, have you got a clear idea of the format of the report? Introduction. Body paragraph with two or three subheadings. Suggestions and recommendations. Alright. Now I am giving you another simple task. Are you ready? These sentences are from a report. Now, where are your thinking caps and decide which place each place or sentence belongs to. Again, you will get one minute for this also. Am I too thrifty in giving you time? That's because I know you will have quick quitted. Also, the first one has already been done for you. Here you are. Now let's see the questions on report structure. You'll get one minute to complete your task. What about D? Again, easy peasy lemon peasy. It's none other than the title. Now E. If you have answered this correctly, you are a fast learner. Yes, that's recommendations. Now the last. It's hilarious. It should go to introduction even though it stands last here. Now, shall we recall what we learned so far today? Can all of you answer my next question? If I put it in the simplest way, what is a report? 
Now you should be able to give a short but a full definition of a report. Can you write your own definition in your notebooks? Or shall we do this way? To save our time and also to maintain the uniformity of the definition, let's go for our second gap filling exercise. Is it fine with everyone? I'm sure the majority of you find these gap filling exercises are really cool. Yes. This time we better luck to get 100% accurate answers. Complete the following definition choosing the words from the given list. These are the words that you can use to fill the gaps. First, be familiar with these. Heard, finished, presentation, assessment, account, place. Now, here is the incomplete definition. I got. I got only two answers wrong. That's perfectly fine. If one answer goes wrong, automatically one more will be incorrect here. No attention. Now we are moving to the main job that is physically writing a report. As mentioned before, you will be given a scenario. Here you are. Writing task 1 Culture Society of Sunshine Public School in York organized an adult literacy camp in its neighborhood. You are the secretary of the Royal News Club and your teacher in charge asks you to write a report in 150 to 200 words on the camp for your school magazine. Use the following clues. Number of volunteers, arts, painting, teaching, location of the class, chairs, whiteboards, number of people attending the camp, benefits, suggestions and recommendations. By now, you know that the question for a report must be answered in the prescribed limit of 150 to 200 words. Talking about the marks, it comes as a question that towards 14 marks. A big bonus in the respect. Don't you want to have a glance at the breakup of marks? As you can see, you will get maximum of 7 marks for the content. In order to secure highest possible band of marks here, you should include the relevant points without any detail which is out of topic or insignificant. While presenting your data, make it a point to sound possible. In addition to that, remember to write only the practical suggestions and sensible recommendations. When you deal with the language, try to minimize grammar and spelling mistakes. Use the vocabulary of high standard, but appropriate for your target audience. Have you heard about the famous scientist Albert Einstein? Oh, do you like his hairstyle? I'm also trying to do this. This cell, but Einstein seemed to know almost everything, even about writing. 
Shall I tell you what he said about writing article? Yes. He said, plan before you pay. I repeat, plan before you pay. So obviously, you also have to plan. However, when it comes to planning, you can have your own way. Finally, after writing the report, what we must do? What you should do? Yes, proofread or check for grammatical accuracy and spellings. Why? Because they carry marks. Since this is the very first report you're going to write, you get a lot of support from the teacher. See, the teacher has written a sample answer for you, but you had to do some sort of editing. Read the following sample answer in which paragraphs are in disorder. First, provide the appropriate headings for each paragraph choosing from the given list. Next. Put the paragraphs in the correct order and then write the final report in your notebook. Right. Now, let's put first thing first. Here are the headings. Activities. Purpose and participants. Introduction. Suggestions and recommendations. There are four headings in total. And here are the jumbled paragraphs or the sample answer. Now give the headings to each paragraph. Do you think you can do it within a minute? Let's try. You managed to do it even before allocated time, didn't you? Let's check the answers. Yes. Which heading should come to paragraph A? Yes, right. Purpose and participants. Alright, what's the heading for B? Okay. Suggestions and recommendations. Next, see. This is the paragraph which gives details of what we are going to do. So it is the introduction. Now, the remaining heading activities will go to D. So all of you got four out of four. This is simply marvelous. Oops, it's a lot of work for the first day. So, rearranging the paragraphs can be done in the next class. So, it's time to wind up for today. Do you think we had the successful lesson? Yes, teacher. I think report writing isn't as hard as we thought. Exactly. I'm sure I'm going to like it. Thank you.